Hi, welcome to your second lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're going to be talking about what is computer science. Computer science is a science that involves the study of data and data structures, and also how to process them. We process data and data structures by using algorithms, which is just like a recipe, as we will see in a couple of lectures' time. And not only it is about processing the data and data structures, but it is also about how to process them and how to implement the algorithms that will process the data and the data structures. So it is concerned with representation, storage, manipulation and presentation of information or data. It is essentially a science to do with everything related to data. It has two sides to it, which are theoretical and practical. We have to think about how we're going to implement the solution, which is the algorithm, and then we actually have to implement it, which is the programming. Both steps are very important, and when you're programming, I will expect, certainly as your teacher in this instance, to think first and program afterwards. Although many people will say, oh, you should stop programming as soon as possible. Thinking a bit first about how your program is going to be structured and how you're going to deal with the data that your program is using will help you in the implementation. And this leads very nicely into the five steps to development, which are first identifying the problem, which is what do I need to, why do I need a computer program? Analyzing the solutions. So you have the problem and then you have to think about potential ways to solve the problem. Designing your solution, implementing the solution, and then evaluating the solution. It is not quite this set on stone. The first two steps where you identify the problem and you analyze potential solutions are pretty much that. There's no, no much leeway in, in as to what you can do with those two steps. However, the next three, designing, implementing, and evaluating, don't necessarily happen sequentially. So over the past 20 years, we've seen a trend that uh, has come from these three steps going sequentially into all of them happening at the same time. So once you identify and analyze solutions, designing, implementing, and evaluating slash testing the solutions all happen at the same time. And we will do this during our exercises, so don't worry very much about it for now. I will further explain what this means in a later lecture. But just understand that the first two steps are the theoretical aspect of programming, where you identify and analyze how you're going to solve. And the next three are the more practical side. And as I've said, both are very important. Let's move on to the next lecture. I'll see you then.